and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube as well for some Grixis midrange, our next deck in our rank up stream today. Uh, last couple decks haven't been quite getting us there. I'm pretty excited about this one though, but before we get to it, just want to remind y'all about our brand new Patreon page that just started yesterday. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, take a look down at the uh, video description down below. And there's a link to the Patreon page where I'm going to be putting up written content and um, cyborg guides tomorrow. I'll be doing a cyborg guide for the team or walkers there. Um, so if you enjoy my content over there on YouTube, hope you help support me over there. It's just $3 a month uh, for that or um, about two and a half cents per video that I put out. So go join over there. Hey, what's up, Candice? Um but besides that, let's talk about our deck. So we have an aggressive version of Grixis here. I like the changes that we made to this deck. I've played it a couple of times, and it's been, you know, it's been pretty good, but it's been a little off. And so before I was playing like Tyrant Scorn and Bedevil, I was playing a little bit more of those spells. But we're getting we're getting um, a little more proactive here with the Blacklands Paragons. I think this is a card that could work really really well with this deck, um, because what our deck's all about is you know, curving out with like these creatures, with these aggro creatures, and then having royal scions uh, to back them up, especially that second plus one, giving our creatures plus two, plus zero, first strike and trample. Um, you know, making this a five one first strike trample, still really hard to to block. But then this is also like a spell that can be like Paragon's a great removal spell against Questing Beast. You know, like they just, you know, you play it on your turn, you give it Death Touch, Life Link, block a Questing Beast, gain your three life, and trade. And so it's a good removal spell for Questing Beast that's also a very good attacker. I'm excited to play it in here. But of course, we have our other really large creatures, you know, like Rotting Regisaur, giving that thing plus two, plus zero, first strike and trample. That will just uh, end people's days very quickly. Uh, Dreadhorde Butcher is another great card to give first strike and trample and pump the power on and obviously knight of the ebon legion if you pump this up with death touch first strike trample just awesome uh combination there so i'm putting in the fourth royal scions we only played three before but i think the royal scions was just a card that i always wanted to draw so we get a fourth one in there and then have the paragons and and this deck's looking pretty clean i'm, I'm liking what we got going on here it's possible that the three murderous riders is not quite enough removal for oko and that maybe one of the Legion's Ends needs to be like a Bedevil, you know, like get another Oko removal spell in here. Um, but we'll see. I think I think this is uh, some good changes here. And then also, we didn't have Disdainful Strokes before, but Disdainful Stroke is just like the card that I really want these days um, against a lot of decks in the metagame. So I really like that over there in the sideboard. Um, why not Ember Cleave? I don't, you know, like you really need like... Like, let's say we're attacking with two creatures, which isn't always going to be the case, but if we're attacking with two creatures, you know, it costs four mana. Um, I don't know. I, I want I want my cards to be, like, all... Like, they all, like, do things on their own, like where Ember Cleave doesn't do anything on its own kind of thing. We also have the backup plan of... Um, of course, our backup plan, whenever our... You know, like, if the board kind of stabilizes... Like, if our opponent stabilizes, the board kind of trades and everything... Then we drop five mana Nicol Bolas. This card is just incredible, uh, especially if you're ahead. It's incredible, but this is just a really good at Planeswalker. So I guess, I guess Nicol Bolas is take out Oko is also. So we have Murderous Rider and Nicol Bolas to take out Oko. So yeah, let's let's go with some Grixis midrange. I'm excited to play this deck. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's the other thing. I'm not playing a whole lot of red sources for Ember Cleave anyway. Yeah, I like Registor. Registor can be, <clears throat> you know, it's not always perfect. You know, Registor can, you know, make you discard uh, your extra cards and not let you hit your hit your land drops to get to Nicol Bolas and things like that. <clears throat> but that's why Royal Scions work so well. That like the games where Registor, where you don't want to discard cards, you can discard your Registor to Royal Scions and go for something else. Yeah, Robber of the Rich could fit in the deck. Um, it would basically be in the Black Lance Paragon slot. Like, that's another option to play. Um, I guess you could play it over Dreadhorde Butcher. 
but I think I like those. But that that's definitely one that I was thinking about whenever I was you know like updating the deck list and everything. I was definitely looking at Robber of the Rich, but I think I decided to go with Black Lance Paragon instead because Royal Scions does work very well with. Um, <clears throat> does work very well with Robber of the Rich of pumping up its power and letting it get through easier. But it, it's it's possible Dreadhorde Butcher isn't good enough. I've, you know, like Dreadhorde Butcher not getting through Goose, not getting through a Boreal Grazer is very rough. So maybe, maybe Dreadhorde Butcher needs to be Robber of the Rich. Roman, help! So we have 25 lands in the deck. I mean, I have I have a lot of spells that could kill Oko. All right, be right back. For the realm. My wild beasts are bringing your comeuppance. All right, I got my dinner for tonight. Okay, so they pumped up the goose. So decided, you know, like, so we could have pumped up Dreadhorde Butcher, but that's not getting rid of the Royal Scions. So we'll just um, take out the Domri that, you know, keeps them low on mana. And then uh, start looting and start trying to hit more land drops. Yeah, this is Moxie. Yep. Well, that's really unfortunate because that kills my Royal Scions. I'm down to seven. There's not very much life, especially when we have more shock lands. Let us plan for the trials ahead. So yeah, sorry, sorry, I'm gonna be eating some food here, but you know, I'm just gotta gotta have some food. Um. Do I want, um, no, Hawkeye, this is my food. Do I want to pay two life to play Nicol Bolas? I don't think so. We're going to have to pay a lot of life anyway. I don't think we want to pay the life for Nicol Bolas, because we're going to have to pay a life for all these murderous riders. For eternal serve, my schemes have been witness a moat of my power. Food tokens are quite annoying for Nicobolas. Let us fight! Your that end has Gilded arrived. Goose was pretty annoying.
Yeah, that Gilded Goose like ends up ends up being like a really strong card here. Our defiance has consequence. <clears throat> really hurt. No, Hawkeye. Not your food. My food. your mind growing and I will inspire your heart for the realm I will return hmm I am a god once again but I am death go master Yeah, a goose, a goose taking down Nicol Bolas. I don't remember that happening in the story. I don't remember that happening. When did that happen? Alright, well that was a bad auto-tap by me. <clears throat> that was a really bad auto-tap by me. I I need to play the swamp first. Like it was like my plan. It was my plan to like play the Dread Horde Butcher and sack the Dread Horde Butcher. Was their other card? Forest? I'll Boo. The wool from your eyes and spin you clarity. Almost stabilized. Almost got there. Not quite though. But almost. Hmm. Not sure exactly what I want to do here. I don't know if I really want that many disdainful strokes. Yeah, maybe just try putting in two, you know, just taking out these uh, butchers that did not look very strong. And try putting in Disdainful Stroke Noxious Grasp instead. Yeah, so I could have, <clears throat> if I would have tapped that better, I could have just had the, the butcher back as a blocker. Yep, the life loss from Murderous Rider, the shock lands, 
We dealt a lot of damage to ourselves. I think we lost 10 life. I think we I think we had two shock lands and the three murderous riders, I think. Maybe it was just one shock land and it was just eight life, but yeah, it's a, I mean that's it's a lot of life. Let me synthesize the facts. It can be difficult to can be difficult to hit our next couple land drops still. Discarding Noxious Grasp and hoping to cast Nickel Bolas, I think. I think that's my plan. I will steady your mind, Rowan, and my plan is crystallizing. Possible my opponent meant to kept, keep the Grazer there to be a blocker. Wonder if I should take out Regisaur on the draw. Regisaur is another. I mean, it's not great against Oko, but I guess Oko just turns it into a 3 3 and then we don't have to discard cards anymore. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try taking out Registrar. <clears throat> On the draw. We're basically Grixis control, kind of. We're basically kind of Grixis control. I I don't like claim the firstborn unless you have a whole lot of sacrifice stuff. So if you're just playing a gruel deck, I don't think you should be playing claim the firstborn. Every tale about me is absent one bite, and all your cares are gone. Wallow in your deceit. Hopefully we draw a black mana. What is my strategy here? Where we get to murderous rider that. Our fable passage is of course getting black mana here. Hey Jeff. Yeah, enjoying the new set. Welcome back. Well, that's unfortunate. 
They have Vela Summer. At least they wanted to hold up Vela Summer. I mean, they may have... I guess they could be the mystical whatever card. From my brother. I know, Hawkeye. No. My food. I will learn what nobody yet knows. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, <coughs> choking out lies. I invite you to change your ways. This is my cue to exit. Don't really know exactly how I'm going to deal with this Royal Science now. Yeah, Hawkeye should just go ask Oko for some food. But as we see there, <clears throat> the problem with missing land drops. If we didn't miss the land drop earlier, maybe we could have had Murder Strider plus the Sainful Stroke this turn. My plan is crystal. But we could not. I will learn what nobody yet knows. So much life loss. Cowards. Let it go, Rowan. of mystery. So by casting that now, I die to oh, I die to another questing beast. If they have another one, but <clears throat> it also doesn't let them. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. It doesn't really let them get. I don't know if I should play that land. Maybe I should not play that land. I 
Doesn't let them draw Vela Summer. That's what I was trying to say. Strike fear into the hearts of the wicked. All right, we turn the corner. We have to gain four life. We're about to ultimate this Royal Scions. All right. Got the W. That one looked pretty bad for us for a long time. But yeah, we, we actually beat turn two. What was that? I guess they had turn two Oko. And then turn three Royal Scions and so on. Yeah, that Noxious Grasp top deck was just incredible. So, hey, Zachram. These Gilded Goose have just made these Dreadhor Butchers just look so bad. No, Hawkeye. Keep on trying to get closer and closer to my food. Just he keeps on jumping up here. Um, maybe <clears throat> honestly, this deck could be a robber of the rich deck instead of dreadhorde butcher. What's up, Abandon? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. No, Gutter Bones. No, we don't want Gutter Bones at all. Gutter Bones isn't impactful enough. The thing is, is like, like you know, Dreadhorde Butcher is really good with uh, the Rankle. It can be really good with the Royal Scions. Stormfist Crusader... Maybe. That's also that's another possibility because Stormfist Crusader works better with um Open your heart to the magic. Welcome to the Man, that really took my opponent a long time to figure out to play their Oko on turn two. That must have been a really difficult decision. He says sarcastically. Attack this thing for three. Mm, you're a tricksy one. Get these above Gilded Goose range at least. Um, <clears throat> the, I guess, oh, I was talking about Stormfist Crusader. The good part about it is it with Rotting Regisaur. You can stack the trigger so that you discard the rod. Like, if you don't have cards in hand, you can it's discard the Rotting Registrar first, and then you draw Stormfist Crusaders. So you can still have, like, your two cards a turn. I think that's six loyalty. I just attacked it twice. Jeez. So I could have dealt the two damage to the to Oko, and then my Royal Sons with the tick up takes out their food and their Oko. It's honestly probably what I should be doing.
That's honestly probably what I should have done instead of taking out the goose. Because they would they would block with with wicked wolf. Our bond was forged in battle, <laughs> and many to know is to triumph. Okay, they would block with wicked wolf. Sack had sack something, but the the butcher would die and would kill the Oko. <clears throat> Hey, what's up, Gatsby? <laughs> Gatsby with the tier three sub. Bringing in the hype. <laughs> Fairness. What a bizarre expectation. Who's more foolish? The fool or the fool who rules them? Welcome to the feast. Oh, back to training? I... You're too close-minded. Um, I don't... Okay. Yeah, I don't know the answer to that question. Trying to deal with my own Dread Horde Butcher is really annoying. I really wish I would have just made the other play that I was talking about that I could have made and gotten rid of their Oko the first time. Everything's turning up Millhouse for our opponents, though. All right, I'm gonna let my my opponent can kill me here. No, maybe I do it this way so they can't kill me. They did not save their Wicked Wolf. They did not save Wicked Wolf. If that's just a land over there, and they draw another land, maybe we get to untap with Nickel... Bolus Dragon God? How did how did we pull this off? Ugh. Not just a land. Not just a land. These Gilded Goose have been so incredibly good. A little one drop. We're still alive, though. Get out of here, Skyons. I know. 
the 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 geese. Like we can't ever we can't ever attack through a, a goose with our dread horde butchers, and they keep on killing our our nickel boluses. That's a, yeah, the goose is still in the way. Man, yeah, Gilded Goose, definitely MVP of this match. Gilded Goose MVP. The Blacklands Paragon was awesome, though. I mean, I'm playing three Legions End just because of Goose. That card is so good. There's not even anything else that I'm hitting with it. Maybe I should just play two in that case. Play extra Duress. Yeah, Goose was a lot better than Birds of Paradise in that game. I think Golgari is a, a stronger, uh, stronger deck than Selesnya Adventures. I've I've been more impressed, like with Golgari playing against it, than with Selesnya. Yeah, blue eye control was really impressive whenever we played it the other day. I enjoyed the proper I get blue eye control has a lot of good things going for it. Um, I like finale of glory as a as a um, win condition. I think the counter spells are, are pretty good. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. Your new look is enchanting.
Obviously, we're in a really tough spot against the two Planeswalkers. Plan is crystallizing. Yeah, glad. Yeah, glad you like the the Esper and Blue White Control decks recently, Malin. Yeah, I'll keep. Yeah, I'll keep working on those. I'll you know get back to those because yeah, there's a lot of YouTube views on those and everything. It looked like a lot of people enjoyed those decks, so yeah, I'll have to get back to that. I think a little merriment is in order. This is kind of fishy. It's a bad play against Bone Crusher Giant. I grace you with my lack of presence. Okay. My answers lie in the cold truth. <laughs> yeah. God being Zargon's fun. Yeah, the Teamer Walker deck's a lot of fun. I should maybe just put a third, like instead of like a team, maybe we should get a third spark double in there, honestly. Conceivable. Cowards. Let it go, Rowan. Do I want to trade Knight of the Ebon Legion for Bone Crusher Giant? I could do this. I could do this to grow Knight of the Ebon Legion. I'm just gonna trade. And keep using mana for other stuff. All right, game number three. We've played, yeah, this is our second match against the same deck and like all six games have been really close. I guess there was, I think there was one game where we got ran over last match, but yeah, they've been a lot of close games.
Maybe I should be putting back Nicol Bolas there. Yeah, they have, they have the one card, the Gilded Goose. The one card that I want to Legion's End. But on the draw, it's a little slow anyway. And so I put it back. Hoping they didn't have Gilded Goose. Man, that card's such a killer. What is my strategy here? I don't really know exactly how I'm supposed to win now. <laughs> my yeah, they they have had turn two planeswalker, turn three planeswalker. Every game this match. The fool. And last match, I think two out of the three games. You know, it's just like either turn two Oko or Scions and turn three the other one. It's just every game. Yeah, our opponent's done it every single game. I think last match it was two out of the three games. Hostile to the truth. Let's roll silence is just gonna ultimate though too. Gaze into my face and put on your tools of the personals. This is hot. Gross. All right, we are one and one. I'll be right back. Okay. I, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go Dismal Backwater here to have turn to Dreadhorde Butcher and start getting counters on Dreadhorde Butcher. Yeah, yeah, I'm planning on playing Historic and everything. I understand not... <clears throat> so you can't stand the standard. I, I kind of understand that. This is... This has been a really frustrating day of us playing against the same things over and over and over and over. It's what happens when you make cards like Oko and Questing Beast and Once Upon a Time and these cards that are just so powerful. It's, it's just really hard to play other things when you have cards that are too powerful. 
but keep on keep on fighting the good fight. I don't really know why I played Swamp there instead of Dismal Backward. Oh yeah, that's why I played Swamp. Right. I was like, okay, yeah. Okay. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. You're too close-minded. There's no way my opponent should attack here. Okay, they did not attack. Let me get this thing in play, because if we draw a land, we can... <clears throat> Nickel Bolas. I mean, our curve was perfect, but it was also a whole lot easier whenever they didn't have turn one Gilded Goose. <laughs> Are guys enjoying the scratches? <laughs> Activates Oko to kill itself on board. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Well, Black Lance wouldn't have worked on, like, my Dreadhorde Butcher, but, I mean, it's just it's just better to, I mean, the Black Lance was already in play, but, yeah, I, th I think it was just better just to have that in play. Because, like, let's say if I don't draw the land, I still have, I have, like, the mana to activate Knight and turn Knight into a, a 4 or 5, and, yeah, I can just go, like, with that and Dreadhorde Butcher, and and so, like, we didn't really need to, like, we, I would not have attacked with the Black Lance at that point, but... So I guess this is like the Simic Flash deck. This looks like the Simic Semi Flash deck. Simic Semi Flash that we played yesterday. Maybe I don't sideboard as much. Maybe we keep in Dreadhorde Butcher. Let's try not sideboarding as much. I do feel like I should be playing Disdainful Stroke because Questing Beast, Nightpack Ambusher, Wicked Wolf, Frilled Mystic. Not. Oh, I should have just I should just played the temple here. I'm playing Hawkeye. Can't see too well. I was planning on going Dreadhorde Butcher, but I should have just gone Temple. And then played the other night. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, track team. Stream's going good. Uh, no, I've not tried Thieva Sandy in this deck. We're going to be playing a, a Thieva Sandy deck next, Soul Tide Thief. Should have played that temple last turn. Yeah, I'm one of one of our losses with Team or Walkers was me messing up. Like that really should have been a five two. I I punted one of the matches. Mine is yours, and yours is mine. Is that, is that worth five loyalty on Oko? I mean, I just, I can't really deal with that questing beast. I will aid you. Welcome to the feast. Behold, nature's true power. Expectations are exhausting. So bad news, they're going to play a very large crisis. Good news, will legions end the crisis? Yeah, it it certainly feels like we need to start playing Elder Spell. That's all we've played against are just Simic Planeswalker decks. That's basically all I've been playing against all day. It certainly feels like we need to start adapting. Dead here. All right, so they're playing a bunch of Hydras and Nissa.
<clears throat> no, there's there's been no announcement of any any ban list. That the announcement is on. Um, uh, the announcement's on Monday, of what, if anything, will be banned. Mold of five. It seems pretty good. Standard Field of the Dead is the most likely thing to be banned. I should have played Blood Crypt last turn. Correct, yes, if something is yes, if something's banned in standard, it's still playable and limited. formats yeah those those formats don't uh affect each other well the good news is we have two knights but the bad news is we we don't get to activate our knights at all I guess I should have put this wrinkle to the bottom because of their disdainful strokes, but oh well, they just they just did that and turned that thing into a three three. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. <clears throat> Let's broaden your existence. If I attack them, you know, they discard one of the disdainful strokes. If they want to make another token into a 3 3, they have to tap the goose. I grace you with my lack of presence. And of course we want to play our land because if we draw another land then we can have double activation for night. Uh, that was a really fast cry to the top. Not ideal. If 
we think it's Voracious Hydra. It's blocking. Feels like Voracious Hydra. I could not activate a course. I think we need to get, you know, get the damage in there, grow these things. We need to try to end this game. Okay, sounds good, Kendis. Sounds good. So it was Hydra. Steady your mind, Rowan. And I will inspire your heart. Your heart can overcome any challenge. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Goodness after a mold of five. It's not a very good block. Hydra only has to take one damage. The other six trample over. Yeah, the little knight that could. <laughs> Can't fight. And that's game. Embrace your fear and charge. Grew the knight just big enough. GG's. So our deck did good enough against Disdainful Stroke. <laughs> yeah, if they didn't sack the food, they were you know, scared of their life totals to sack the food, but then drew the, the one card that really punished them for sacking that food there. <clears throat> yeah, first strike, death touch, and trample is such a nice combo. Because, yeah, you just do one damage to the blocker, all the rest of the damage tramples over. Yeah, that was a pretty clutch draw with the Royal Scions. My knight was still, you know, getting in there, but it was going to take a little while longer. For sure. Another mulligan. Um... Hmm. This is a tough one to put back. I could kind of make a case for every single, you know, for putting back any of these cards, like any five of these, honestly. You know, like if we're playing one of these on turn two, we don't really need the other. You know, obviously we don't have three or four mana yet. You know, Legion's End isn't good against everybody. If, if I'm keeping Regisaur and a Mulligan, it's going to be really hard for me to cast Rankle, so that means I should probably put Rankle back. Hmm. All right, yeah, we'll put Rankle back. Uh, same deck again. That's just more Simococo. Or... 
<clears throat> or is it Field of the Dead? Darn. Looks like Simic. Or sorry, not Simic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Simic, but Teamer. Here. I kind of prefer Field of the Dead right now because of how many times we've played against this deck over and over and over again. Open your heart to the magic that one bite and all your cares are gone. I lead the way, but my brother knows our way. You will not block our noble path. Ooh, you're a tricksy one. I invite you to change your ways. I love a grown will. You're too close-minded. I haven't really figured out how I'm going to deal with... You call it oh, First Strike Death Touch. With my sister by my side, I do not... Be Bravery galvanizes any plan. Steady your mind, Rowan. And My answers lie in the cold truth. Alright, so I should have led with Thought Erasure on turn two instead of Dreadhorde Butcher. That ended up being a very big mistake. Very big mistake. I kind of want to play more of these duresses. This is crazy, though, how we're, like, this is the only thing that we're playing against the entire day. It's either Simic Food or Teamer. That's it. Simic and Teamer. That's literally it. I miss Field of the Dead. Crazily enough. I know that's been all four matches here, and I know that was like 
was like I think three out of three out of the four matches with Arcbo. So it's been like seven of the last eight matches. I and then like what two plus of Orza. I'd have to like go back. I kind of want to go back and just count how many times we played against these kind of decks today. It's got to be an absurd amount. I'm not going to play my one big threat into a counter spell. And I think my opponent's certainly holding up. They're not they're just not doing anything else. They they have counter magic. Counter magic is pretty um common. Be able to like really hope to draw a land. I really want to play Legion's End and Nicol Bolas. Good. So they did not have a counter spell, so they're just sitting with a bunch of wicked wolves. As it turns out, oh come on! Why can't we untap with Nicol Bolas? My revenge will be painful. Fighting the Paragon, fighting the Knight. Are they they're targeting the Knight? They don't make it very obvious what they're targeting. Oh, because they weren't targeting anything, that's why?
The game's not over. I don't know why they're saying good game. All they have to do is draw a removal spell for... Knight of the Ebon Legion. I don't have anything on the bottom that I know about. Why'd they say good game? Like they're they're ahead right now. Like they can't beat a three one. Give me a break. They they couldn't make food. Their goose was summoning sick. They just played it. We draw land back to back, and they draw goose back to back. Uh, the goose are a lot better than the lands. lands in a row, four lands in a row. We're back to where we started today with at So we have a losing record on the day, but we're at the same exact same rank. Alright, is it gonna be five for five? It's our last match of this deck. It's gonna be five for five, the exact same deck. play against something different or is it goose oko wicked wolf questing beast it's our third third zero lander in the last four games Guildgate. <laughs> yeah, it's frustrating. It's like, we, you know, we work so hard throughout like, the whole game, and then it's just, you know, like my opponent, you know, drawing spells at the end of the game and us not drawing spells. Field of the Dead. Man, it's been so long since we've seen Field of the Dead. I don't know. Yeah, that's a that is a pretty nuts curve. I don't know. I don't know how they draw it, but that's what their deck does.
Oh, they're just the perfect card. How about that? What a surprise. What a surprise, the perfect card. <laughs> How's it been? It's been a really long day here also. I understand that. That long day sentiment. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Get rid of Grazer, what are you doing? I will return. Get rid of Grow Spiral? Just get rid of Grazer. I outsmarted you eons ago. Sure, why not? Just have the best possible card you can every turn. That's great. What's the best card on turn two? Grow Spiral. Best card on turn three? Route. Best card on turn four whenever we're attacking all those creatures? Time Light. Best card turn five? Golos could put Field of the Dead in play. Best card turn six? Kenrith to kill your Nicol Bolas. Just the best card every turn. So pretty sure our opponent has Hydroid Crisis now. Um, Golos is actually just better than Crisis. Cause yeah, you get to activate Golos. Go get put another Field of the Dead in play, and then get to activate Golos when you untap. Yeah, never mind. That was actually just a better card. <sighs> I forgot there was a better card than what I even said. <laughs> hey, okay. Hey, it was better than playing against turn 2 Oko again. Riding Registor has a really good, you know, like Riding Registor can trample over and do a ton of damage. I do like Riding Registor here. But the problem is that it costs three. And so much of our other stuff also costs three. So I kind of want to cut it just simply because, you know, we have like these other three drops that I want to be playing. Hey, Kurtash. <laughs> Plot twist. Wizard announced that Wasteland is standard legal. Yeah, I, I miss Nickel Balls the Ravager too. That was a good card.
That was a good way to design a powerful card. Hey, why not? Let's just have the best car possible card. Why not? Alright, hopefully no Growth Spiral. Oh, never mind. That's, like, way worse than Growth Spiral for me. Why do I keep on thinking they're gonna have something that'd be, like, bad for me, and it's, like, not even close to being that bad at all? Alright, well, they scribed at the top. So they're scrying to the top. They scried Veil of Summer to the top. My dreams dissipate like smoke. I know I don't have much of a clock now, but we got rid of a Field of the Dead. We got rid of this Veil of Summer. They scried to the top. Keep them from circuitous routing. Looks like my opponent's just kind of looking at their searchable cards there. Um, so I don't want to play Rankle because then that means that like a time wipe messes messes us up pretty bad. It's basically, do I want to activate Knight or hold up Disdainful Stroke? I'm going to activate, especially with like the, the Rankle that can be the Haste Attacker. Get more damage in there. Two Field of the Dead gone. This is difficult to digest. Two Field of the Dead gone. Yeah, whenever I whenever I decided to to do the the night activation, I didn't think that they were going to be having uh, six mana. They still have another field in their hand. It's unfortunate. So yeah, I obviously kind of wish that we just held up. Disdainful stroke now, but conceivable. Let your weak minds crumble.
So many cards over there. So many cards. they exiled it's probably just a land or something Probably have a good amount. They probably have more Golos in hand. I will return one day. They're out two Golos right now. No land drop. Okay, so just... So they just didn't play a land? So they're like waiting with all these land drops for whenever they have more. Whenever they have another Field of the Dead. There's only two Field of the Deads in the deck. And they got them both now. So they're going to get six zombies here. Their attack's a whole lot more profitable than mine. If I attack with a wrinkle. They you know can make like the six zombies attack in with all six and I'm not winning that race. I guess they drew another sweeper. I sure hope not, but That's what it looks like with that attack. 
GG. So my other option was to just Nicol Bolas kill the the Golos, but then our Nicol Bolas definitely dies and try getting another two blockers out there first to help with that, but that time wipe is obviously devastating. Oh, what's up, Ashiok? So we have 12 damage. Your existence is pointless. Yep, this game's over. That time wipe I have ended this. To attend to. So I have, I mean, I have. Three more legions ends. You know, there's four legions end in the deck, so we we've played one so far. So there's three more. That was a waste of a temple after I already scried at the top. Just pretty unnecessary to play that by my opponent. No fun. <clears throat> well, two and three. Our deck's pretty close. Our deck's pretty close. It felt better than what than last time. Um, I think. <clears throat> so a few things about it, as we talked about, I think probably going Robber of the Rich instead of Dreadhorde Butcher. I think that's just a, a change that should be made. Um, and Rotting Regisaur is not something that I want. I do not want Rotting Regisaur. I think that's I think that's kind of where I'm at. I, I, I don't really want Dreadhorde Butcher Rotting Regisaur. What, what I do want, not exactly sure. I don't know exactly what I want for that slot. Could be Thief of Sanity, could be Bone Crusher Giant. I just don't really like... I mean, Bone Crusher Giant doesn't... I mean... Bone Crusher Giant does kill, does kill Goose. Well, if this deck played Ionize, I feel like counter spells are just really good right now. What if, can we, can we like get ahead like with these things? And have ionize, and you like get a little extra damage in with ionize. Kind of think I want ionize, honestly. That actually sounds pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> so it looks like we need Elder Spells in the sideboard. I think I'll just take out Ritual of Set. May play Elder Spell instead.
And of course, with the Rankles being rogues, also, um, you know, if you if you get a card with Robber of the Rich early, you can get it back with Rankle. I think I, I like this. I like this. So our deck is close, and you know needs needs a few changes, and I, I think that these could be some really good changes here. Um, yeah, I like this. All right, so if you're if you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Let me know what you think of these changes, the deck in general. Um, but honestly, I think our our deck performed pretty well. You know, like we were. You know, like we played a whole lot of like real close games and everything, just wasn't quite there. But I like this. Um. Anyway, yeah, like, yeah, the robber. I like robber. I think I like robber more than Stormfist Crusader. I definitely like it over Butcher. Butcher was not. Butcher did not look good. Um. And I kind of feel like Ionize could be pretty nice. With all of these cards that are just so impactful, and we saw we we played really long games, and so like having an eye nice like in a longer game, is something that could be really nice to have. Um, yeah, Thief of Sanity is another option. Thief, Thief is better with Royal Scions, which is true because Thief plus Royal Scions gets over Oko, or, or sorry, gets over Grazer. So Thief of Sanity is another option. We're we're gonna play a Sultai. Thief of Sanity deck here in a little bit, so we'll kind of see how how Thief of Sanity plays in the in the meta game, and then that that's definitely another option to, to think about. Um, you know, either Ionize or Thief, there. Um, but but all right. So again, um, last thing for those of y'all watching on YouTube, I hope you check out the Patreon page. There's a link in the info panel down below. I just put a link for y'all here in Twitch chat if y'all like my content. I hope you uh, consider joining. It's just $3 a month, so not very much. Try to make it real cheap cheap and affordable for everybody, um, you know, just to help support my content, making all these videos and everything. Plus, I'm going to be uh, producing written content over there that you can comment on and, and all that kind of stuff and making cyborg guides and stuff like that. So, hope you check out patreon.com slash ToddStevensMTG. But that's it here for Grixis Midrange. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.